103 multiplication table. Uh, in this table, we like to show the each cell with the formula 1 times 1 equal to 1, uh, 1 times 2 equal to 2, uh, just like this. And I will fill the uh, orange color in this diagonal uh, line. OK, let's try uh, how to fill this cell. The first question, uh, we like to insert the formula uh, from the B4 to J12 in this table. Um, it seems very easy, but actually it's a little complicated. So I will uh, divide into several steps to explain uh, this formula. OK, so I'll back to the uh, table and select the B4. I start to uh, type my formula. And of course, I start with the equal sign. And in this cell, you will use this uh, uh, A4 times this number is B3. OK. And I finish this. I hope we can uh, copy down and copy to the right side. So when I copy down, you will see it's wrong. So what's wrong? Uh, let's check the uh, formula. OK, I'll press the cursor uh, at the uh, B4, the cell. And you will see it's a, a formula address is from the cell at the left side and the top one. OK, then we try to choose the next one. And of course, it's from the left and top one. Uh, that's because it's a relative address. But you will find now A5, it's a left side cell, it's OK. But the top is wrong. It should be the uh, B3, not the B4. And same for the other. For example, here, I will choose the left side of cell A, uh, A8 times B7. It's not a 7. It should be the B3. So right now, I know I need to change this to be the, maybe it's an absolute. So I will press F4. OK, here it's an absolute with a dollar sign address means it's an absolute address. And I will copy one more time. Then you will find out it seems correct. But after this, I will copy to the right side. And we will find out uh, it's still wrong. So uh, let's look in for what happened here. OK, I will back to the uh, this cell. It's a B, uh, A4 times B3. Yeah, that's correct. And when I copy to the right side, it's B4 times B3. OK, should be the B4 times C3. So the B uh, should be changed to C. But because the original, I set up it to be the absolute, so it won't change. Uh, so later, maybe we need a back to change the uh, B, this column, uh, without the uh, dollar sign. That means only the 3 is the absolute but not for the uh, B. OK, so I need a back here and uh, change this to be the, I will press F4 one more time. Only the 3 uh, with the absolute B is not absolute. And after this, when you copy to the right side, the B will change it to C, uh, C3, D3, E3. OK, uh, but we have another question. When you copy here, look, your A4 will change it to be the uh, B4, that because still all this apps uh, are relative. It should be the uh, A4, OK? In this column, the first should be the A4. But this column, the first should be the uh, A5. So and if you use this column, and this should be the A6. So. Here, the first number should be O from the A column. So we like to change this. OK, I'll back to this. And the A should be the absolute, but not 4. OK, I'll press F4 and only leave the uh, dollar sign in front of A. That means A column won't change, but the number, the row number will change. I think that's a, a correct formula. All right, then I will copy. Use the field handler, copy it down one more time, copy to the right side one more time. Then that would be a correct. Uh, sometimes we are talking about this address. It's a mixed address because not all absolute, not all relative. It's a half, it's a absolute. 
and a half is a relative, so we'll call this it's a, a mix address. Okay, this is the just the first step. Uh, in this orange cells, actually we need to uh, display our result like this. 1 times 1 equal to 1, or 1 times 2 equal to 2. You need to show this formula in all this cell, not just the value. And here, because uh, we need to use some uh, spatial uh, character, like uh, this multiplication, uh, multiplication sign, and here we have a hint that you can use a, a insert symbol and select the normal text and we can find out this sign. If you still cannot find out this sign is unicode, character code, it should be the 00-7. And because here are several different parts, you need a concatenate, so we will suggest use this symbol uh, concatenate. Uh, for example, concatenate the number and with this sign, and uh, concatenate with this uh, equal sign. Okay, let's try to back to the uh, B4 and the in front of this uh, formula, and we try to uh, uh, get the number is still from the uh, A4. And uh, because later we need to copy down, so it will be like this. It's a uh, uh, mixed address, so I will press F4. Okay, and after this, you need a concatenate. It's a, a multiplication sign. So I will press uh, Shift Seven. I get the sign, and I give the uh, multiplication sign uh, cross. But it's not easy from here because when you say insert symbol, it cannot choose like this. So maybe first uh, I will just give a. Uh, a spatial sign, any sign you like. Okay, maybe like this, it's a X. Okay, and because it's a character, so you need a type quotation mark. And then uh, one more uh, concatenate sign uh, with this one, B3. And the same for this, you need uh, it's a mixed address. Uh, only for the three is the absolute. And then one more, this sign, and the equal sign. Okay, and last one, you need a concatenate of the value. So this should be 1 times 1 equal to 1, just like this. But I'm not sure this uh, multiplication is correct, so I will place my crystal any place. We try to insert the, uh, uh, the symbol, and from the symbol, it's a normal text, and here it's a, a cross, it's a multiplication. Uh, sign and the character code is a zero zero D seven. Okay, I will insert it then close. And then I will copy this uh, back to the here and the pass it. I think it's a little difference. So you must uh did like this. Alright, that's a first sale. Then we still want to copy down copy to the right and check this uh, with the sample. One times one. Oh, okay, this is not correct. This should be the two times one, and this should be the one times two. So all we need to do is just switch these two uh, values. Uh, first is a B, and uh, uh, this one is a A4. All right, I, will, I like it back here again. Um, this one, I will cut it and move to the here, and the B3, uh, first is the uh, B3, and uh, then times A4 will be equal to, uh, this, it doesn't matter, it's because it will uh, give us value, all right, and I will try one more time. Then that would be the same as our uh, sample. And we finish the first question. And after we finish this table, uh, we like to set up some format. And the first of this format will be about the border line. Uh, here we will set up some uh, border. Uh, for example, the top of the low, the uh, row three and the bottom of the row uh, trail will be the uh, thickest uh, solid line. 
and the, the right of the column B to I and the bottom of the rows 4 to 11 should be the thinnest solid line. And the, the first row and the, the uh, uh, first row's bottom and the first column's right side should be the double line. Uh, I think that's not easy to understand. Uh, maybe let me show you the uh, sample like this way. The top and the bottom has to be the thickest uh, solid line, and the inside here is the uh, thinnest solid line. But for here, uh, the first row, the bottom of the first row, and the first column, the right side of the first column, they are double line. Okay, so we were trying to uh, get this border line here. First, uh, I will highlight all of this uh, table. And we can go back to home, found here, more border. First, I'll choose this one is the thickest uh, solid line. And only for the top and bottom. So I will select it and bottom. And you will choose which one is the thinnest solid line. I think that's it, this one. And it should be inside here. So I will press inside here and inside here. But at the last uh, right, right most, actually, we don't have uh, any uh, uh, lines. So it's just like this. And we you can click OK, see, just like this. And then at the right side of the first column, and we need it's a double line. So highlight this first column and get inside the uh, more border and choose a double line for the right side. Uh, you can see the double line here. And for the first row, the bottom of the first row, it's a, a double line. You can choose this one, bottom, double, or border. OK, and look, that's uh, uh, for me, we need. We can uh, compare to this sample. OK, top and bottom, that's the uh, thickest uh, solid line. And the other will be the thinnest uh, solid line. And the, here, we have a double line. OK. And last question, or like a field the cell color, not for the old cell, only for the uh, uh, diagonal cell. Uh, that means uh, B4, uh, C5, uh, to the J trail. Uh, we like to feel the orange color. Okay, so we can uh, come back here and select all this cell, this one, and the press the control, control. That's a diagonal cell. And then you can feel the color. It's an orange color. It's this one. Okay. And we finished the 103.